you're always by my side and you make me strong And how could I ever deny you are enough, you are enough It was time for the Israelites to celebrate Passover. Many Israelites had traveled to Jerusalem to remember what God had done when he rescued his people from slavery in Egypt. Jesus and his disciples traveled to Jerusalem too. When they arrived near Bethphage and Bethany near the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples ahead into a village. 
As soon as you enter the village, Jesus told them, you will find a young donkey tied there. No one has ever sat on it. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone says to you, why are you doing this? Say, the Lord needs it. The disciples did as Jesus asked. As they untied the donkey, its owner said to them, why are you untying the donkey? The Lord needs it, they said. Then they brought the donkey to Jesus, threw their robes onto the donkey, and helped Jesus get on it. People spread their robes along the road, and others spread palm branches cut from the fields. The whole crowd of the disciples praised God with a loud voice for all the miracles they had seen. The King who comes in the name of the Lord is the blessed one. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Hosanna. The word Hosanna means save now. The people knew Jesus was their promised king, and they hoped he would save them from Rome. Some of the religious leaders said, Teacher, tell your disciples to be quiet. Jesus answered, If they did not praise me, the rocks would praise me. The next day, Jesus went to the temple complex in Jerusalem and drove out everyone buying and selling in the temple. He quoted the prophet Isaiah and said, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you are making it into a den of thieves. While Jesus was in the temple complex, people who were blind and people who were lame came to him. The blind and the lame were not allowed to worship in the temple. Jesus healed them. Other religious leaders saw Jesus' miracle and heard the children saying, Hosanna to the son of David, or our king is here. They were angry and asked Jesus, Do you hear what these children are saying? They are saying you are a king. Yes, Jesus replied. The psalmist said, You have prepared praise from the mouths of children and nursing infants. Jesus left them and went to the town of Bethany to spend the night. During Jesus' triumphal entry, the people welcomed him as king. Jesus was the Messiah spoken about by the prophet Zechariah. Look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. One day, Jesus will return to earth on a white horse as king over everything. Even before the sun and stars caught fire, even before the earth and sky were made, you had a purpose and a plan for my life. You held my heart and you knew my name. So I will walk in the plans that you have for me. I will follow, trust and obey. No matter where this journey may lead me, I know you are good. You are good always.